Thank you, Mr. Chakraborty, sir, for your nice and kind words to introduce me. But one point of correction, I am an epidemiologist, not endomologist. Epidemiologist deals with the diseases, why and how it occurs, where to occurs, and when to occur. This is epidemiology. I'm a specialist in the field of applied epidemiology. And I'm very happy at the outset, I must thank and express my gratitude to the authority of the Villa Industrial and Technological Museum for inviting me on this special occasion of World Health Day celebration. And they have chosen correctly the topic of interest, a topic of the day and need of the hour, the protection of each and every individual of our country. At the same time, our governments, our countries fight to develop, use vaccines against this dreadful disease, COVID-19. I'm very happy to be here with you all. And in my next 45 to 50 minutes presentations, I like to stick to the subject of COVID-19, how we protect ourselves and the development of Indian vaccines. As you all know, if you want to protect yourself, you must know your enemy. And we must identify specifically specific the agent and the factors which is responsible for the development of the disease of the event. And I will discuss some of the epidemiological issues in relation to this dreadful disease we know now as COVID-19 disease. There are certain legal and ethical aspects. It differs from country to country, place to place. Some conventional measures are still on in different parts of the globe to fight it out. And of course, at the introduction, Mr. Chakraborty correctly said, there is always a silver line at the end of the tunnel. So these are the modern weapons, mostly the vaccines we developed, we will discuss later on. I will restrict my presentation on brief history of COVID-19, what actually it is. It's the epidemiology, where, when and how it occurs, which group of people are affected most, little bit about the signs and symptoms, how we could suspect, diagnose and manage the cases with the signs and symptoms of the infections, how we diagnose it, confirm it and how we manage it. For the first time in the history of medical science, we came across a new term called lockdown. They were being used in the science, medical science. Lockdown, a new concept in managing the cases of communicable diseases, first time used in COVID-19. And WHO initially started in the first part of 2020 that to manage the cases of COVID-like diseases, we have to emphasize on taste, face and track. But recently, after an experience of about one year, they have added another two T's, that street and technology. Newer technology has to be added in the fight against state. We have to know something about isolation and quarantine, what does it actually mean? Hospitalization, care and management at the hospitals of the severely diseased patients. There are certain social effects and of course the vaccinations. Let me start with you with the coronavirus. It's very good to see, very attractive in look. But it is known to us since 1960, it's basically RNA virus, large virus, enveloped virus. There are lapid bilayers on it. Most importantly, important of this virus is there is a spikes like solar spikes and that gives the name at corona means ring. There are seven types actually known. It doesn't depend on temperature, humidity, and rainfall. Any virus other than this COVID-19 perhaps would 
they are affected with changes in the temperature, humidity and rainfall. But COVID-19 has disobeyed all these ac accepted conditions. Coronavirus and COVID-19. Coronavirus, I told you, is in old virus. We had the experience of coronavirus earlier in different parts of the country in severe forms like SARS, MARS. But this coronavirus, which is of concern today, is basically designated as SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19. As because this coronavirus was identified for the first time in December 2019, that's why the threshold name given to me it as COVID-19, coronavirus discovered in 2019. It's otherwise known as novel coronavirus because nothing was known about this virus. Only recently, about one year plus time, we got to know some information, basic characteristics of this coronavirus known as COVID-19. Earlier we had the experience of SARS and MARS in different parts, particularly in the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. And unfortunately or incidentally, all these dreadful diseases started from the same country, China. COVID-19, in other sense, is a new virus, exclusively exclusive, emerged from Hubei province of China in December 2019. The immediate risk to the general public was low, it's still low, but unfortunately because of our behavior, we are making the things complicated, complicated and complicated. And our celebration in that sense, in different parts of the globe, is premature, too premature, too unfortunate. Human coronavirus originates largely from the ecological reservoirs in bags. Earlier, when the first suspicion of this COVID-19, at that time only coronavirus or atypical pneumonia, were observed in the Hubei province of China by a doctor who is not a public health specialist or a teacher, he was unfortunately an ophthalmologist. He could detect some abnormality in certain presentations of pneumonia patients in his hospital and subsequently, at the later part, later part of December 2019, the WHO, World Health Organization, along with the different agencies, international agencies, could identify the basic, special, exclusive characteristics of this COVID virus and named as COVID-19. There are intermediate animal hosts, which is doubtful till date, but Bats and other domestic animals may have some role at the initial phase at least. So SARS-CoV-2, it may help through the bat or other animals, the camels and different domestic animals. A long history till that, from 31st December 2019, China alerted the first time to WHO that several cases of pneumonia with no, no cause on Yuan province, particularly Yuan and Hubei, and it is go on to be named in COVID-19. WHO officially announced they have identified this virus, that COVID-19, and it belongs to the corona family, which earlier had the SARS and MARS. China announces the first death due to COVID-19 in the first we, second week of January 2020, on 11th of January to be more fancy. On 13th of January, World Health Organization report the first case outside China, that was in Thailand. 26th of February 2020, since then, till 11th of March 2020, WHO declared that this is going to create a pandemic. That means it will not limit itself with the geographic boundaries of the WHO different regions. It has crossed almost all the regions of the WHO 
and the WHO purposefully and selectively declared that it is a pandemic on 11th of March 2020. On 2nd April 2020, confirmed cases of COVID-19 top 1 million worldwide. And since then, till date, you know that millions and millions of people across the globe are being affected and unfortunate deaths of many more people in the world. India is not an exception. So, if you consider the epidemiology of this COVID-19, it is better to say it may affect any person, any higher, any age group, any child, anywhere in the world, excepting Antarctica, no area of the world is spared by this COVID. No absolute relationship with the environmental temperature, as I told you earlier. Earlier it was thought as the temperature will go up or temperature will go down, COVID may die. Till that, 216 countries of the world are having the cases of COVID-19. Mostly affected countries in the world are, as you all know, United States of America, Brazil, India, Russia, the most. They are having the most cases and most deaths, unfortunately. Please accept it. Each one of us, each one of us is equally susceptible to this infection. No authentic data available till death that pregnant mothers, children, newborns, how they affect and react with this COVID infection. But ordinarily, it may be accepted that COVID-19 may affect each one of us. In that sense, each one of us is equally susceptible to get this infection. Worldwide, data shows male affection is little more than the females. But unfortunately or fortunately, COVID-19 infection has a low case fatality rate than the earlier SARS or SMARTS. It affects mainly, it transmission mainly occurs through the respiratory passages. This virus enters our body through the orifices in our mouth, it through mostly with the nasal root, mouth and eyes. Go lentil. It's basically spread through droplet infections, respiratory secretions from coughing or sneezing. Through these droplets containing this COVID 19, landing on the mucosal surfaces of the nose, nose, mouth, and eyes. There was some debate whether this COVID 19 is an airborne infection or not. Many scientists across the globe initially thought that this could be a airborne infection, but WHO has accepted that it may transmit through aerosol, but droplet transmission is the most important, most common way of transmission of this COVID-19. So Basically, we have to concentrate on this mode of transmission, droplet mode of transmission through the nose, mouth and eyes. If you want to protect yourself, we must be double careful in handling our orifices, the eyes, mouth, mouth and nose. A little number of cases can be transmitted through the contacts. When we touch something and the surface is loaded with coronavirus or COVID-19 virus particles, that may be an indirect way of transmission of COVID-19, but directly after touching the surfaces contaminated with the COVID-19, you have to put your infected hand, contaminated hand on your nose, mouth or eyes. So it is better to avoid touching our face unnecessarily off and on. If you want to have a touch, clean or rub your face, eyes, you must wash your hands with soap, water and or sanitizer 
before doing that. A little bit debate is still on whether this COVID-19 vaccine, no COVID-19 virus is transmissible through fecal matter or not. It's not yet confirmed. The incubation period of the COVID-19 is roughly 2 to 14 days. Incubation period means introduction of the agent that is the COVID-19 virus in the human body and appearance of symptoms after exposure. It is ordinarily 2 to 14 days. This is very important if we want to protect ourselves to know the incubation period. Center for Disease Control in America indicates that people are most contagious when they are most symptomatic. Most symptoms means more virus particles inside the body. That goes good, but in some cases, exceptions do better wise. Several studies show people may be contagious before developing the symptoms. We call pre-symptomatic phase. When the virus is on, you are not having any signs and symptoms externally, but you can touch me. Unfortunately, in the recent data shown in Maharashtra and Mumbai, that almost 80% of the COVID positive cases do not have any symptoms whatsoever. So, pre symptomatic or asymptomatic COVID 19 infection is the reality, it's a threat, and we have to be very, very cautious in coming in contact with other human beings. Please accept, please accept each one of us present in front of you a case of COVID-19 infection if you really want to protect yourself. So that's why use of mask in presence of others is a must. How long does that cop to survive outside the body? Yes, it's a question of billion dollars. It is not clear yet how long this coronavirus or COVID-19 can live on the surfaces, but it seems to behave like other coronaviruses. Viruses may persist on the surface for a few hours up to several days, depending on the structure, depending on the temperature, and depending on the other environmental issues. It is likely that it can be killed with a simple disinfectant like soap and 70% alcohol we use commonly as hand sanitizer. But basically, I want to emphasize upon you that if you want to really prevent and protect yourself from COVID infection, we must be very careful in handling our hands, our fingers. And that's why repeatedly I will say that you please maintain personal physical distance, use mask and wash your hands and fingers with soap and sanitizers. That's the most important way to prevent, protect COVID-19 infections. You may take your mask not as an ornament but as a vaccine as well. Most of the COVID-19 infections in the earlier phases in 2020, earlier part particularly in our country, presented with fever and cough. This cough may be productive, may not be having any expectation at all. Some cases of COVID-19 infections in the earlier phases, we do have shortness of breath. But today, as time goes by, we have other symptoms like sore throat, running or stuffy nose, body aches and headache, chills, fatigue, gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of smell and taste. But presently, in 2021 particularly, we are getting cases with abnormal atypical symptoms like only lethargy, only body ache, only inability to walk properly, feeling tiredness, these are all symptoms. So, considering the atypical symptom presented at present with COVID-19 infections, I would like to emphasize upon you, during this period of time, if anybody is having any uneasiness feeling, please consult your doctor and please try to exclude 
COVID-19 infection as because majority of the cases at present are not having any symptoms at all. Severe cases, only 2 to 3 percent cases of COVID infection at the earlier part of the disease in 2020 was taken for severe category and see whole goods. Most people will have mild symptoms but should recover the safe room or home isolation was conceptualized. But when there is any doubt, any, any indication that you are feeling shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing, you are having palpitation, you are having uneasiness in the chest, please don't neglect it. Consult your doctor. That's why, please remember, during this period of time, I like to advise all of the listeners and the viewers, please, please preserve at least three basic equipments in each and every household. One is thermometer, clinical thermometer to record your temperature. If your body temperature goes above normal, 98.4 degree Fahrenheit, there is fever and that could be a cause, a symptom, earliest symptom of COVID-19 infection. Second one is the blood pressure instrument. Very easy to handle. Nowadays, digital blood pressure instruments are available freely in the market. If your blood pressure fluctuates, either hypertension or hypertension, either high or low, all could be a case of COVID infections result. And the third one, most important, is a very small instrument called pulse oximeter. Just place it over the fingers and try to see your oxygen saturation. If it falls below 94%, it will be depicted on the screen, digitally mentioned. If it is less than 94%, please take it seriously, consult your doctor and go for hospitalization. The earliest manifestation. So these three basic instruments, I would advise each one of us must be at our home. Difficulty breathing, persistent pain, pressure in the chest, no new conditions or inability to arouse, bluish leaves or face that is an indication of less oxygenation or the evidence of severe diseases due to COVID-19. There are certain groups which are having much more risk of developing severe diseases of which most importantly important is the age. It's a non-modifiable factor. In older people, aged people, senior citizens are having severe complications of COVID diseases. Another, besides this age, persons having heart diseases, lung diseases, such as asthma or other COPDs, diabetes mellita, suppressed immune system, those who are suffering from different cancers or on steroids, they are relatively more at risk to develop severe complications. The elderly have higher rates of severe illness from COVID-19 and the deaths in the higher age groups. Children and young and adults have less severe illness than death because, most important, please remember, because COVID-19 is new, there is a lot of scientific unknown still dead, such as the impact on pregnant women and their fetuses. We do not have sufficient data to comment or remark conclusively effects of COVID-19 on the pregnant mothers and the newborn babies, lactating mothers and the newborn babies. Diagnosis of COVID-19 is basically out of suspicion. During this pandemic, what we as doctors used to advise to all our fellow colleagues and common people that during this period of time, if you have any sort of respiratory problem along with fever or cough, please take it as a COVID infection. Otherwise, confirm it with different diagnostic tools of which most important is rapid antigen test, is a field level test, easy to detect, Time taken only 10 to 15 minutes, but scientifically more useful, most authentic is the RT-PCR test. But it requires enough trained personnel to conduct the test, sophisticated in instrument, as well as the cost is on the higher side.
Two night and severe. Though these were usually and ordinarily used for detection of tuberculosis infections, but because of COVID-19, we have used it freely in different parts. Rapid antigen tests can be used at point of care. Results can be obtained by continuous sign. Can be used for screening in high risk setting, particularly before operations or before doing any surgery. Allows for prompt implementation of infection prevention control measures to stop the transmission. At the field level, if you get positive results in antigen test, please accept it as a positive. It is negative, but symptom passes. We should advise these guys to go for confirmatory test through RT PCR. Now, Government of India has introduced that everywhere about 70%, at least 70% of the tests must be through RT PCR to avoid confusions. Management of COVID cases. I told you, first time in the history of medical science, we have used lockdown as a measure to manage COVID infections. Lockdown is not a medical measure directly, it will be um, a time, breathing time to prepare our health system to come to the gear this massive load. All the positive infected cases can transmit the infection to others, so positive infected active cases must be isolated from others. They must be isolated for at least two weeks time and all the persons come in contact with the infected active case must themselves put on quarantine. So basic difference between isolation and quarantine is isolation for the infected persons, quarantine for the healthy persons, time duration almost same two weeks. Those and infected positive active cases with mild symptoms having no distress in respiration or other problems can be managed at the home by the caregivers from the family or from outside health worker on telephone or physical presence at home. That's why the new concept of safe home in the management of COVID-19 cases came into existence. Mm -hmm. Hospitals all the critically ill, severely infected persons must be treated at the hospital, either in the general ward or complicated, severely ill patients may require ventilation, ICU management. But management of this sort of communicable disease, mostly cost effective, is prevention and control by means of certain conventional non-medicinal methods as well as through vaccinations. Perhaps you are aware that earlier pages we are concerned about the term are not. Are not means reproduct reproducibility rate. It must be below one. If it is one, that means one infected person on an average can infect another one and the cycle go on. But Prevention and control requires certain basic modifications in our own day-to-day -day lifestyle. Plus, in natural infection, plus vaccination may incur, may give you, may confer certain immunity against this infection and we popularly call it as heart immunity. It has been documented that 60 to 70 percent population of any given area must be having infection, either natural infections or through immunization. 60 to 70 percent of population, when it is happening, then there is a possibility of development of hard immunity that will give you protection. What can be done to protect against the new coronavirus? I told you that to reduce the risk and prevent new coronavirus infection, some basic steps has to be followed. Number one, we have to avoid direct contact with animals, live or dead, or presence in animal trading markets in outbreak countries. Avoid direct contact with anyone with symptoms of a cold or respiratory infection. Cover nose and mouth when sneezing or coughing with tissue or flakes elbow. Wash your hands with soap and water and use alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Make sure 
that all the animal foods must be cooked properly with adequate temperature and adequate time. There is no cure at all for this COVID-19 because WHO, World Health Organization, had undertaken certain protocol and um, adopted some sort of treatment protocols, but none of them proved successful. So there is no specific antiviral to be effective against COVID-19. So we have to be dependent on the supportive treatment, symptomatic treatment, and in some mild cases, this is possible at the home itself. Only moderately ill and severely ill patients require hospitalization. Use of mask. I told you earlier, this mask is not but piece of glue. It's a weapon, very strong. We must consider it as an ornament, as a vaccine itself. When in face-to-face -face contact with others, you must have a mask. When social distancing of two meters, six feet, is not possible to maintain, please use mask. If you are in the highest group, senior people, having comorbidities, you must use mask. Within a healthcare facility, whenever you are in a hospital or in a public transport, you must have mask on. Please, please accept this mask as the most important, effective, simple measure to protect ourselves from this COVID-19. There are different types of masks. Some are meant for ordinary people, some are meant for health workers, frontline workers. Whatever may be the quality of mask you have, we must use a mask the barrier from this infection. Safety first. COVID-19 control, prevention, protection requires safety. Wear face mask. I repeatedly tell in different media that to keep these things in your mind, we must maintain SMS. S means safe distance between two people, except the other people may be infected with COVID-19. So a physical distance of two meters, six feet is a must. Second, M is for mask. Use mask, whatever mask you have. And third is soap or sanitizer. I personally prefer soap and water for cleaning our hands and fingers. <clears throat> Where soap and or water is not available. In that situation only, you may go for sanitizer with absolute 70% alcohol. This is SMS to protect ourselves. No entry without a mask in a place where other people are there. Particularly, I like to emphasize upon you here that closed spaces, air-conditioned spaces, auditorium, cinema theatre halls, these are places where any infected person is there inside and his needles or cups, certain amount of virus particles may be in different parts on the surfaces, on the floors. From there, there is a brief possibility of transmission to spread. So, you please keep as far as practicable and possible, doors and windows of your rooms open. Open places less dangerous than closed air-conditioned spaces. So whenever you are going to enter any air-conditioned halls for any purpose, please put your mask on. That's our way to protect yourself. Please put on mask and keep some social distance everywhere where there is any possibility to interact with any person. Please use hand sanitizer and mask. Most importantly important, very simple, don't speak anyway. Through this, chance of transmission is less, but that may give you an opportunity to open your mouth and that's a possibility of spreading. So, so far, protection with our own behavior and lifestyle. COVID-19 is a very simple disease if we properly maintain the basic principles of hygiene, 
and well being. And the most important modern weapon to tackle the situation to protect ourselves through vaccines. As we all know, vaccines are meant for protecting ourselves from different diseases. In some vaccines, it has been proved that severity or infectivity of the organism causing the disease gets minimized. You may have tuberculosis, but that tuberculosis may not complicate to endanger your life if you take your VCG vaccine in time. We have prevented the dreadful disease of poliomyelitis through vaccinations and lots of vaccinations are in the pipeline in the days to come, we have to use it. There are different types of vaccine. I have given you a list of vaccine. Vaccine may be with the live organism. It may be technically purposefully killed or inactivated. Vaccines, we may have toxoid, we have polysaccharides, we have recombinant technique, we have different types of vaccines manufactured, utilized in different techniques, and technology will not go hand by hand with the science and that to medical science. COVID vaccines, we have already developed, and for the first time in the history of medical science, when the pandemic or pandemic is on, and nobody knows the exact characteristics of the causative agent, the COVID-19 virus. Still, we are trying our level best to develop vaccines and ultimately the scientists of the globe have successfully developed some vaccine and some of the vaccines are already in use in different countries, in different forms. Unfortunately, I like to share with you that Certain countries, almost 100 plus countries in the world, till they didn't receive a single dose of vaccine whatsoever possible. That's unfortunate. On the one hand, WHO is asking everybody to remain conscious regarding everybody is having a equal potential to get this infection. But unfortunately, many of our country people and the people of other countries didn't have a single dose of this vaccine. For COVID, we have DNA plasmid vaccines, we have live adenovirus vaccine, we have non replicating viral factor vaccine, we have protein subunit, that's called spike protein subunit vaccine, we have mRNA vaccine in different parts, we are using in different types of vaccine. So for COVID vaccine, till date are in use, most importantly, Oxford Geneca Vaccine in our country, the vaccine is produced by Serum Institute. It was developed by Oxford University and uh, marketed by AstraZeneca, the British pharma giant. It's a viral vector vaccine. Efficacy is claimed after third phase of clinical time, 60 to 90 percent. It is must be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Cost is roughly 2 US dollar per dose. Moderna vaccine. Mostly used in America and American continents. It's the RNA vaccine, mRNA vaccine, we call it popularly. After third phase of clinical trial efficacy proved to be around 95%. It must be kept at minus 20 degrees Celsius temperature. That's a difficulty for countries like ours. And the cost is higher, 33 US dollar per dose. Pfizer produces the same mRNA vaccine almost same efficacy of 95%, it must be kept below minus 70 degrees Celsius. That's very difficult for a country like India. Cost is little less, 20 US dollar per Gamalia National Institute from USA, sorry, USA, Russia, they have produced a viral vector vaccines. And in our country, this has been marketed by doctors in this laboratory in the name of Putnik 5 that's almost completing the third phase of clinical trial. It's proved to be 90% efficacy. Ordinary fridge is the storage. And cost is rupees 10 US dollar per dose. Novavax, non-particle vaccine, and our own very Indian indigenous vaccine produced by Bharat Biotech Limited of Hyderabad, being guided by Indian Council of Medical Research. It's very effective, non non-activated or killed vaccine, virus vaccine, is co-vaccine produced by Bharat Biotech Limited is indigenous and government of India permitted 
to use this to vaccine in the name of Covicin produced by Serum Institute, invented by Oxford University, and Covaxin, indigenous one produced by Bharat Biotech Limited in India. These two vaccines are in use. But America, different parts of Europe, they are using the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, mRNA vaccine that is sophisticated vaccine, highly technical vaccines, but as because this is genetically engineered, there is some myths with this special type of vaccine along with our own permission produced by Serum Institute. I will tell some myths with this vaccines. At present, we are having all these vaccines in a list, but this list is going up. Different candidate vaccines are in or from different countries. Indian vaccines, mostly Covishield and Covaxin. Besides these two, Covishield by Islam Institute and Covaxin by Bharat Tech, we are having Jaikov D, it's a special type of DNA vaccine. It has been trying by Kerala Healthcare Limited, along with in assistance with Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, Sputnik 5, I told you, or Dr. Reddy's laboratory in association with Gamelia Institute of Russia. They are, and the special type of vaccine by biological events in our country, recombinant protein antigen based vaccine with the American Institute and their partner, they are all in the pipeline. At present, we have around 8 crore of Indians already vaccinated with this Covishield and Covaxin in different parts of the country. Challenges posed by vaccine, most important to ensure the right people right vaccine at the right time. In government of India has just uh, taken the decision to vaccinate 30 crore of people at the first phase, initially with the healthcare workers, followed by the frontline workers, and then the elderly aged people with comorbidities, and at present 45 plus without comorbidity are the target group. Initial high demand vaccines might develop risk of threat and corruptions already started, minimized, hopefully it will go out. Counterfeit vaccines, mask immunization, which is the right methodology, it is a lot of question debate. Should we vaccinate each and every Indians? Should we try to vaccinate each and every population in the world? There must be some equal distribution of vaccine to all parts of the globe. Unfortunately, I told you about 100 countries didn't receive, and in same countries, those who are having money, wealthy countries, they are procuring more than their number of populations, required number of vaccine doses required. They are just trying to store for their future requirements. That's not ethically right. Developed countries pre-booking large volume of vaccine doses, of which I must mention the role of Canada government. Canada was criticized for this action to preserve certain amount for their future. So now let us have some myths regarding vaccine. I must clear friends. Myth number one, vaccines are not safe because they are developed so quickly. Yes, it is developed so quickly, utilizing the prevailing science and technology, but maintaining all the accepted norms of vaccine development. And if you go through the literature, you must be sure that all the vaccines are allowed for emergency authorization uses. So please don't take these vaccines on 100% safe. In India, Covaxin or Covishield are having almost same amount of protection, efficacy, and the side effects, adverse side effects are almost minimum, negligible. Myth number two, you can get back COVID after the vaccine. Yes, please accept it. Even after two doses of vaccination, you may not get 100% protection against this COVID-19. That's why in our campaign, we almost always tell you that if you are vaccinated with two doses of vaccine, please don't forget to use the mask. You please continue using the mask. 
That's a must. I have already had COVID-19 infection, so I don't need to be vaccinated. No. Reinfection is a possibility in COVID-19. So if you had your infection, it's natural. Once you may get this infection again to protect yourself for protecting yourself for future occurrence of infection or to minimize the severity, you must get your vaccine shoe. The fatality rate of COVID-19 is slow, around 2%. In our country, it is less than 2%. So why should I get vaccine? This vaccine is to prevent the severity, is to make the complication little less. That's why vaccination is a must. So whoever, wherever you are getting a chance to get vaccine, please accept it whenever your time comes. There is no need for mask wearing and social distancing after receiving COVID-19 vaccination. No. Why vaccines are effective, they do not stop every case of COVID-19 infections and transmission. So using mask is the mask to continue even after two doses of vaccination. The vaccine will alter my DNA. No, there is no possibility. Two of the first COVID-19 vaccines approved for emergency use are massive. Imagine vaccine, as I told you, Pfizer and Moderna, this doesn't insert itself into the host body's DNA. So there is no question of altering your genetic constitutions. So please don't get confused. People with underlying conditions should not be vaccinated. Absolutely not. Those who are having another comorbid condition, their chance of getting infection is more, their chance of getting complications more. So, they must take the vaccine at the earliest part, as per government of India's recommendation. COVID-19 vaccines are not effective against the new variants. The new variant is a recent concept after the introduction of UK strain and the genomic sequences have been studied. It has been proved that the new strain is a possibility, but till that WHO has recommended that all the marketed vaccine are equally effective against the new strains of UK, Brazil and South Africa, almost equally. Serious side effects of the COVID-19 vaccines are common. Minor side effects such as sore throat, some pain at the site of injections, nothing else. One controversy recently has arisen in certain parts of Europe, particularly following the COVID-19 vaccinations of Oxford Geneva. Uh, out of 1 crore 70 lakh vaccinated people, some people did have certain complications in the form of thromboembolism or stroke, but that's not uh, sufficient enough to stop vaccination, though some countries in Europe particularly have stopped using this. And the same time, Brazil have not still that permitted our own indigenous flu vaccine considering the GMP, good manufacturing practice, practiced in Brazil itself for our co-vaccines. So, as an individual, as a student, as a guardian, as a scientist, we must be informed and prepared regarding this COVID transmission, wear a mask, maintain social distancing, wash our hands frequently, use alcohol-based sanitizer, avoid touching our eyes, nose and mouth too frequently, unnecessarily, Stay home when you are sick or when you are not absolutely bound to go out, please stay home. Cut or sneeze into the tissues of your elbow whenever you are in the presence of a third person. Clean and disinfect and regularly touch objects with sanitizers, the mask. Avoid potential exposure by doing this. Most importantly, please don't go out unnecessarily. Do not hug, kiss, or shake hands. Keep face to face interaction as brief as possible. Minimum 15 minutes time is required to have this droplet infection to transmit from one infected person to another. Maintain distance as far as possible. As far as possible, try to use your own personal transport. Avoid public transport as far as practicable. So, friends. At the end of the day, I'd like to ask you the question, do you want this sort of uniform dress to come for all of us in the days to come? Or we like to enjoy our social life as beautifully, as enjoyable in the past, at least before 2020 December? 
I personally believe if we maintain the basic principles of hygienic lifestyle, maintain personal physical distancing of two feet, two meter, six feet, use mask properly, always whenever we are in presence of other persons, use soap and sanitizers properly, frequently, and maintain our own safety as told by me during this session will be able to continue to enjoy life as before at least what was our life in 2020 before December don't go for this sort of dresses uniforms don't be difficult by this COVID infection it's a simple one let's fight together let's unite together thank you all if you have any questions I am here for some time more you may ask your questions please over to Mr. Chakrabarti. Yeah, thank you, uh, viewers. Uh, before that, uh, let me apologize for my mistake during introducing Dr. Uh, Kalanishwar Uh I am very sorry for that. Now we are going to take a few questions. Though I think all the questions, almost all the questions, are answered in the lecture. Anyway, if you like to answer, I mean, have your questions for your answering. Keep 